Hey guys, I was just finished showing you guys that bait and um, I had to run to AJ because he's on it looks like a much better size fish yeah. I want to fish for a chance I'm just filming the whole day <laughs> Look at that beautiful fish guy. Huh? I just landed at top. And um, yeah guys, sorry. Um, I'll show you the, how I make this bait at some other stage. But um, yeah, this is the bait that I made. Some squid, two tentacles. And then with a squid gut, a choco gut and some ink sack wrapped around it for a big cob. And um, well, let's hope there's another one because I was building the kit bait for a big cob and then AJ goes and he catches it. But um, I'm super stoked for him. It is an absolutely beautiful fish. And um, yeah, let's hope there's another one. Hang on, go with <laughs> I just threw <laughs> I went to grab a hot dog but my mouth is full of food <laughs> and then the taco boat went I'm not so cold <laughs> That's the bonsai. Yeah. Some rocks in the water stuck in the moment. Swim out. Swim out. Swim out. Swim out. Swim out. Luckily it's not foul rocks. Is the greater cover you have to swim in the clip on this? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. 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 Worst in my mind, the yellow half of my worst in my mind, the glossy banana picker on there. You guys, you see what I did there is that um, my sinker was stuck, and I just give it a little bit of slag line and just let it swim out. And um, you know, once you feel the fish move, then you know it's out and you can start pulling them again. <laughs> Backfish. Right, 
we found some cobbies here. Um, this thing absolutely floored me. You can ask Chris. Ask him in the comments. <laughs> no, it really it floored me. It pulled me really hard. And, uh, I was going to wait for it, waiting for it just to come and yeah. It's like, hey, hey, hey. He wanted that bait. Yeah, he wants it. conditions is predicted 
or, or determines how the condition was before the preconditions. Okay? You need to go back two, three um, days prior to the conditions that you have now to know how the sea is going to react today, tomorrow and the day after. So it, it takes some time for learning, um, it takes some time to learn but and it doesn't you don't always get it right um, you still sometimes you, you have this picture in your brain of like how the sea has to look or how it looks and then, and then you get to the water and it doesn't look at all like you like you thought and um, but today worked out perfectly we had like i said we had a strong 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 west wind um, over the weekend and then yesterday um, and then from Monday it started to flatten out and on Tuesday, that which was yesterday, today's Wednesday, um, we had a good southeast and that west swell with the southeast wind it just started to flatten out, nice roll, a shorted um, wave period and that creates a bit of turbulence in the water and an upwelling and it gives it a bit of color in the water and it's, just creates a churning water and now today we had a little land breeze like in the north and like we had a west swell with the east on it and the east already starts to push it flat and it gives it that little um, short wave period and then on that wave period you, you get um, a land breeze or northwest and it just pushes the swell absolutely flat picture perfect like tomorrow it's going to be too flat to do what we're doing today you have to choose the right day to go and fish and um, we certainly chose the right day today so it's like to make the most of the rest of the day and see if you can't catch one or two more fish Concludes the, the day. I reckon it was a fun day. Uh, I enjoyed it. You'll be, as you'll be full of smiles. <laughs> Got a slab of a cod. Beautiful fish, guys. That fish was so healthy. I really hope the footage came out well so that it does the fish justice because it was really a healthy fish. Um, I think on the measurement to weight conversion table, I just going to lose a kilo or two or three or four. Because, um, yeah, it was really a stocky fish, right? Very good condition. Yeah, very good condition fish. And, um, yeah, guys, so, you'll see, you, you guys will rarely see me kill a fish. And um, you can see today that um, we caught a quite a few, a, good, a few good number of cod. And um, we only kept one shad, or elf as it's known here in the Cape, or in the Cape region. And, um, yeah, we, we like to do the ethical thing and to keep only certain species and um, we only keep what we need so yeah and that chat's definitely not gonna go to waste you gonna have a lack of char um, nothing as good as fresh fish so AJ is nagging for it it's a buck but <laughs> he wants to bake it yeah but yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video I surely enjoyed the day, AJ enjoyed the day, um, it was a lovely day out, I wouldn't say it's winter, blue skies, shorts, amazing, so yeah, guys if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and um, please subscribe, I'll appreciate that, Laka. So we're back home, um, you guys saw yesterday I kept that shed, and um, here it is, back home. Uh, the scales off and cleaned it so i'm gonna do a little catch cook for you guys you know shad or as we call it in south africa a shad or elf down in the cape it's also known as a, a tailor for the guys in australia and as well as a bluefish for the guys in the states so i thought well we're gonna have some fresh fish tonight and um, i'm gonna show you guys how to fillet it and how i like to bake my fish or deep fry it or prepare it and we're going to have it with a nice salad. So there's nothing 
as lacquer as a fresh fish from the ocean that you caught yourself and like I said guys um, you don't have to catch a limit just take what you need and um, the ocean is there to enjoy it so why not enjoy a fresh fish every now and then so let, let me show you guys how I prepare my fish so firstly then we want to take out all the bones so you just cut right against that top fin and you do exactly the same on the other side only like a an inch or two or three centimeters in right along you just feel with your knife where the bone runs and you just slide the knife in. then a quick tip you pull all of that out just from the back forward one pull and there goes all the bones out on the top you do exactly the same thing on the bottom turn it around exact same thing here then once again from the back forward just pull it at an angle and it all comes out if it's stuck just cut that off off of the tail tail off and then a lot of people like to you know they cut the fish off here and then they have to fill it that side but there's a lot of meat between these bones and that those that meat in that bone is, is that's the the juicy part so I like to keep it keep it attached and I just take this fin and I cut that off same with this one at the bottom of the or the chest and then just the head you'll see between the gill plate and this bone running down there's a slight little gap there you just put the knife in and push it twist straight through there we go so now we do the actual filleting just start on top just go in till you see the bone slide that knife the angle to get the angle of the camera is not so easy but then you just slide right off the bone or right against the bone let's go down just feel the bone there you go one time one clean fillet now for the other side Tends to burn, like I told you guys before. And out. There we go. Two clean fillets. And then you need a beer. So now that you have your two clean fillets, you're just gonna cut it up in portions. You can you can decide if you want to make nuggets or do you want like almost like small portions. I just like to do small portions, so that's about the size. I'm going to prepare it in a little crust, but I need to take a sip before we have go. So, just have a little self raising, a little bit of self raising flour. You can use normal baking flour or cake flour. Um, I just take whatever I have. Guys, don't ask me how much or how many of each, each thing I use. I just pour it in and I just um, mix it all together a little bit of paprika that goes into the flour a little bit of Robertson fish spice I cannot go without this stuff That will be enough. And then a little bit of salt. And then just to give it a nice color, um, a little bit of turmeric, or bori as they call it. And then that just gives a nice yellow color to 
to the fish when it's done or when it's cooked. And then I take a fork and I just mix it all together. It's nice and fluffy. Now remember guys, I'm not making a batter. I just want to give it a little crispy coating um, on the outside. So I'm not going to put any milk or egg with this mixture. So what we're going to do actually is I'm going to have this in the wrong bowl. I'm just going to throw this in a bigger bowl. And then all we do is one egg. And some milk. So we've got an egg and no milk. And just stir that all, then mix it. Yeah, so that that's all mixed. Mixed together. As you can see there, the egg is mixing evenly. Then you're done. Now to heat up the oil. Before we heat up the oil, we have another sip of beer. Good stuff. A little bit of sunflower oil. So now that the mixture is done, our uh, oil might be ready. We're just gonna test it. What you do is wet it a little bit. And once you put in a little bit of the mixture and you see it sizzle and boils up to the, to the surface, you know the oil is good. So what you do is you just take your fish, just in your milk and egg mixture, In your egg milk mixture and then into your your flour mixture just make sure it's good covered good and nice and evenly just flip it okay now that it's all covered we're gonna go the meat side first in the oil. Get a nice yellow color the turmeric brings out in the fish. So guys your fish shouldn't go too long. Once you just put your fork in if you you'll just feel it's nice and fluffy and it just goes straight through. If you have to like really push it, you know it's not done yet. So So our first batch is done. Right. Let's look at the oil. Look at that color of the fish. Oh, it'll be tasty. And guys, the fish really goes really quick. You don't have to keep it in too long. Um, remember, once it comes out, it actually um, cooks a bit more while it's resting there um, before it goes into your plate. So you need to, just as it's right, Take it out, otherwise you're going to overcook it and you don't want your fish to be overcooked um, Otherwise you're going to dry it out And it's going to be juicy when you Take it out just in time Guys it smells so good oh, Can't wait Some greens with it Now for the proof that's in the pudding. Let's give some leaven over. Mm. It's good. Fluffy. Juicy. Fresh. Look at that. Oh. Yeah guys, I can choose this for sketch and cook. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I hope you guys enjoy it as much as I'm enjoying this fish and as much as I'm going to enjoy some more. So yeah, if you liked it, please share it with your friends. Please like it and um, hit that notification bell 
I'm gonna have some more fish. Gunners, you're not gonna come yet.